Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Thank you so much for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. We'll be spending half an hour in the chair and the other half of the class lying down. If the ground is too far away from you and you want to bring the earth to you, you can always do the last half of the class on a bed, a sofa, or a firm reclined chair. So today we're going to be looking at how the breath inspires the movement and trying to match those two up as best as we can. So let's start with our posture. Make sure that the chair you're on is comfortable and stable. Deciding for yourself whether you want to sit into the back of the support of the chair or you're sitting forward and away from it. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. Rooting down through both feet as evenly as possible. And to do this, often picking up the toes or flaring the toes out wide gives us a better idea of where our weight distribution is making sure the inside and outside edges of the feet are equally rooted down, heels and the balls of the feet. And then lay the toes down softly, gently, no gripping. Feel down into the soles of your feet, whatever you're wearing on your feet. Notice the surface underneath you and underneath that surface is the earth itself. So any tension and tightness in the legs, you can relax as best as you can. That way we're really using the support underneath us. Relaxing through the hips as well. Taking the awareness to where your seat meets the chair. And if you wiggle from side to side, you might notice those two bony bits underneath you. This is the base of the pelvis. Just like we evened up the feet, let's even up the pelvis. Shoulders stacking more or less over the hips. And for a lot of us, that means that we're not leaning forward or back. Stacking the bones, stacking the spine. This means that the muscles have to do a whole lot less and it allows us to relax any tension and tightness. Sitting evenly, on that left to right sitting bone. And then from here, lifting up from the pelvic floor all the way up through the center line of the body, crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling, just a millimeter taller than usual. Drawing the head back over the heart space. For a lot of us, the head is forward of our chest, putting a whole lot of strain on our neck, shoulders, and all the way down through the back. So balancing the head more or less over the top of the heart allows yet again the bones to do their work and the muscles to be able to let go just a little more. Rolling those shoulders back and down a couple of times, so maybe it's the first time today. Allowing the shoulders to settle down and away from the ears, broadening across the collarbone so we have this beautiful openness through the chest. Notice how you're sitting. Take a big breath in when you're ready. And on the exhale, keep the posture as best as you can, but soften anything that feels like you're working against your body. Take a few breaths there, and I highly recommend softening the gaze or closing the eyes. Just making small or big adjustments. So however it is that you're sitting feels sustainable, and comfortable. And then from here, keeping the eyes soft, lowered or closed, let's take a moment to check in with ourselves and ask yourself the question, how am I doing in this moment? Watch what arises without needing to fix or change anything. Notice if there are certain things on your mind, circumstances, people, anything else. Again, not needing to fix it or change it. 
Notice if there are any emotions present with you today. Simply allow yourself the space to feel into it. And then expand your awareness into your body, down to your toes and fingertips, crown of your head, inside body and outside body. Noticing any tightness, any discomfort, relaxing any tension you may find. Also notice the ease, the places that feel quiet, that maybe you never take your attention to at all. Maybe an inner elbow or one of your shins. So we start to balance up our awareness, not only paying attention to the things that are a little uncomfortable, but also mirroring that with noticing what feels good in the body, what feels strong. So we start to even up the stories that we tell ourselves. Keeping the eyes soft, lowered or closed, starting to pay attention to the breath as it comes and goes in your own rhythm. Consider breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And if it's not, then simply an easy breath, as easy as you can find. Starting to notice the expansion of the inhale, the softening of the body on the exhale. And we start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale in your own way, your own time. There's no wrong way to do this. So take your time and be gentle with yourself. A little deeper, a little longer. And then we start to smooth that out. We smooth the inhale all the way to the top of the breath and steady the exhale all the way down to the bottom. And if there's areas of the breath that don't feel smooth, that is exactly why we're doing this breath meditation. And we just follow the breath. And if your thoughts get drawn away into a story, into a circumstance or a concern, when you notice, simply guide your awareness back to this inhale and exhale. No judgment. and we regulate the breath this way. It's one of the easiest, quickest ways to regulate the nervous system as well. And then I want you to pay attention to how the inhale slides into the exhale and the exhale glides into the inhale. It's this circular breath. And even the brief pauses at the top and the bottom of the breath that you might notice are part of that circle or cycle of breath. They simply glide and slide one breath into another. Any forcing, any straining of the breath, please let that go, even if that circle or cycle of breath gets a little smaller. No judgment here, just trying to make the breath as smooth and as sustainable as we can. Often with this seamless breath, visualizing a circle can help either in front of you, inhaling round and up, exhaling round and down, or some people like to place that in their body from the pelvic floor or from your feet, inhaling up to the crown of your head, through the front body, exhaling through the back body, back to the pelvic floor or the feet. And if visualizing doesn't work for you and simply following the breath in a cycle feels better, do what feels right to you. I'm simply offering you tools that you can throw out if they don't work for you. The most important thing is the seamless, continuous breath, including the brief pauses. 
And we'll use this breath moving forward into our movement practice. At any time you notice you're holding the breath or straining, do a little less movement or even rest. Come back to the seamless breath and move from there. So the breath is moving us through our practice. And the movements are as smooth and as seamless as we can make the breath. So rooting down through your feet and seat, using the support underneath you to rise up through the torso. Head coming back over the heart, shoulders over the hips, and let's roll those shoulders back and down just another couple of times, and then we settle the shoulders, broaden the collarbone, open up through the heart space. And still we have the seamless breath. With the very tip of your nose in front of you, let's start to create very slow circles in front of you with the nose in the air. Inhaling round and up, mirroring the breath, exhaling down and round. There is no way of doing this wrong. So noticing how this feels in your body, not necessarily your neck and throat. You might feel this in your shoulders, your chest, and many other different places. Go at your own pace, the pace of your breath, and make adjustments. Give yourself permission to change and shift things as it feels good to you. Maybe those cycles, those circles get a little bigger, or maybe they stay the same or get smaller. You can rest at any point. At the end of one of your next exhales, let's pause with the chin down and then very slowly take those circles in the opposite direction. Please give yourself anything you need to to make this a little easier, a little smoother. Seamless breath. Follow the breath in and up and down and around. Notice if your shoulders are moving forward, sitting them back over the hips. Head over the heart. Let's take another one or two. Eyes open, soft, lowered or closed. And at the end of the exhale, let's take the nose down towards the earth. Once again, shoulders are over the hips, head is forward. And let's stay here for three breaths, seamless breath. Noticing sensations in the back of the neck, top of the shoulders, upper back. Deciding for yourself whether the head needs to come up a little or if the nose descends just a millimeter. On one of your next inhales, the crown of the head comes up. Stay connected to that breath if you lost it. Right arm dangling down. Inhaling, right shoulder with the breath round and up. Exhaling, round and down. Following, mimicking the cycle of breath with the circle through that right shoulder. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Take it easy on yourself. Go gently. Notice any rough places in the shoulders, snap, crackle, and pops. Always making any kind of adjustments you need to to start to work with that right shoulder instead of pushing against it. More or less, at the end of your next exhale, or when you feel ready, let's pause and take those circles round in the opposite direction. Keep connected to that seamless breath. Noticing how it feels in your body. Always being honest with yourself. And then at the end of that exhale, let's pause. Let's take that right arm up to a cactus. You can stay here with the hand um, palm wide towards the front or those fingertips can come on or towards that right shoulder using the elbow, which is either lowered or up towards shoulder height or somewhere in between. Let's start to circle, keeping the heart facing forward to start with. 
Blend the movement with the inhale and the exhale. So the breath is guiding the smooth movement as best as you can. And if there's nothing smooth about the movement at all because it's clunky in your shoulders, then we do our best. We're never looking for perfect. Those circles can get a little bigger if you want. Again, making adjustments. Heart facing forward is a great place to stay. We'll bring some rotation in if you like. As we bring the elbow forward, the shoulder comes forward, and as we take it round and back, or whichever direction you're going in, let the torso, the upper torso, start to shift and move with you. You can even take that gaze over the back shoulder, if that feels good in your neck. Trying not to use momentum, and by momentum I mean not swinging it around, especially difficult places. Try and keep that cadence mirrored to the breath. Let's take that heart back through center, pausing. And then keeping the heart squared to center, let's take those circles in the opposite direction. Again, blended with the breath. The breath is guiding the movement. If you feel your breath elevating, then you can do a little less or rest. Mindful movement, guided by the breath. Option to keep those shoulders facing forward or take that little rotation there, shoulders coming forward and back. Just naturally easing into everything, keeping the pelvis and the feet anchored down so the movement is only through the torso upwards. No momentum here. Let's take another two or three, blend it with the length of your breath. We're of course not only getting range of motion here, but we're starting to build that stability and strength that comes with focus. And then from here, well, let's come back through center, take that right arm down, give it a little wiggle, turning the right palm up, bending from the elbow, inhaling that seamless breath up, exhaling that palm comes down. Settling the breath, if it got elevated, great place to stay. Either bending from the elbow or starting to move from the shoulder, inhaling and exhaling. Keeping those joints, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs nice and soft as if you're moving through water. Left hand can support you on the side of the chair or the leg of your chair if that right arm wants to come up and over. If it's coming up and over, really root down through the right foot and hip so the pelvis isn't lifting, so we're getting that movement, that steadiness. And again, seamless breath. So there's very little stillness here. Let's do three more. So we're not hanging out at the top or the bottom. We're following that smooth breath. You can always rest or one more to go. Mm-hmm. As we take that hand down, whenever it is for you, let's take the hand into a tight or soft fist there, thumb over the top of the finger knuckles, keeping that arm nice and soft, let's rotate through the wrist. And this is where we like to do it really quickly. Can you allow the breath to guide the movement? Squeezing that hand as much or as little as you like, Feel into the wrist here, the hand. And if you draw the elbow in towards the rib, then it will isolate a little more into the wrist. Let's pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction, getting that movement through the wrist. Noticing the tight places for sure. Also notice the ease. Continuous breath, continuous movement. Let's pause and release. And then we take the right hand back to support. Any intuitive movement, you need to release tension, go ahead. And we're coming to the other side. Left arm dangles, rooting to ride, rooting to ride, rooting to rise. Reposition yourself and connect back to that breath. 
with that breath guiding you, the inhale, the shoulder comes round and up, the exhale, round and down, whichever direction you're going in. And again, we're not trying to get the biggest range of motion first. What we want is to smooth the movement in with the breath. And from there, once we have that connection, the body naturally will start to open up in its own time and way. Paying attention again to the ease as well as any tight areas. The end of one of your next exhales or when you're ready we'll pause and take those shoulder rolls around in the opposite direction. You may notice this in a completely different area of your body. of that exhale let's pause and come back to that mindful posture left arm comes up now in a cactus great place to stay right here this feels good elbow up or down or fingertips on or towards the left shoulder the tip of that elbow we start to create circles in the air next to us blended with the rhythm of your breath the inhale is round and up, the exhale round and down. Notice some areas that are clunky, they're always gonna be there. And we try and smooth it out like we tried to smooth the breath. Option is to start to allow the upper torso coming into a rotation. Maybe that gaze comes round and over the back of the shoulder or not. Nothing's moving from the pelvis down. So the movement really is in the spine. One more here, and then we'll take those shoulders a little square. When you're ready, we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Shoulders squared to start with. Smoothing it out. Steadying the breath. And then the option is, if it feels good to you, to start to bring that rotation through the spine. Be gentle with yourself. Mm -hmm. And again, no momentum here, especially those areas that feel a little harder than others and more challenging. One more will bring that heart back through center. And then release that left arm, turning the palm out. Any intuitive movement to release tension that may have built up, please do. Bending from the elbow, we inhale up. Exhale, that circular breath down. Moving as if through honey, as if there's resistance there as you push down. Option to move from the shoulder or keep moving from the elbow. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, and thumbs are smooth and easy. Right hand can support you if those left fingertips want to come up and over, getting that length through the left side. Anchor that left hip down. Seamless breath. There's a very little stillness here. So we're not hanging out at the bottom of the breath or the top of the breath. The entire breath is for the movement. Let's take another two or three here, moving at your own pace, connected to that circular breath. Finding that space in the left side and more or less whenever you're ready, we'll come all the way back through center. Taking that left hand and do a tight or soft fist, thumb is coming over the top of the fingers if that feels good to you. Elbow drawn in and let's circle through the wrist here. Nice and slow. When we slow the movements, we have time to notice things, to build awareness. And the awareness we want to build is all encompassing so not just the challenging places but the high feel ease there i my hand actually feels strong and this bit feels a little tight let's take it round in the opposite direction when you're ready 
And with the steadiness of the movement, we have control. We're starting to build strength if you're um, taking that fist a little um, tighter, as well as that range of motion, of course. And next time you're ready, wiggle those fingers, hands coming back to support. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, I highly recommend you come forward so we get a little bit of space as we're coming into seated cat and cow. If you need the support, please slide back. Feet rooting down, crown of the head reaching up. Come back to that measured breath, inhaling and exhaling, smooth and seamless. On the inhale, it's Draw the front ribs forward as the hands and elbows draw back. Shoulder blades kiss behind your heart. On the exhale, send the fingertips towards or on the knees as we push the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. That's the movement. Inhaling, we've got extension of the spine down the front body. Exhaling, we're lengthening the back of the spine as we curl. To take this up into the cervical spine on that inhale, you can lift up through the chin, but lengthen through the back of the neck so there's not just compression there. Exhaling, chin comes down towards the chest. You can use this as a whole body movement. On the inhale, imagine dragging those heels of your feet back towards the chair. Exhale, push into the feet evenly as you round, sitting onto the back of the pelvis. Great place to stay right here. If you want to open up into moving the arms as well, which is optional, of course. Inhaling, sweep the arms wide. Exhaling, bringing the fingers towards each other in front of you, elbows bent or towards straight. Inhaling like big wingspans. Exhaling towards each other. And those hands can be nice and low if that feels good for you, or they can be up towards shoulder height or a different height. You get to choose. Everybody's bones are different and what feels good in our bodies is different too. Don't be surprised if one side is very different from another. Stay connected into that seamless breath. Mm -hmm. Let's take another couple here. Mm -hmm. Staying for more or less, one more exhale. And then we're coming all the way back through center, running down to rise. Regulate the breath, that seamless breath once more. And here we're gonna come into our twist. We're gonna be using the chair. So we're gonna take our legs off towards the right side, making sure the feet are anchored on the earth. And depending on the chair you're on or the length of your bones, that may mean that you come forward so the feet are planted. Anchor in through both sitting bones, rooting to rise. Head over heart, shoulders over hips, more or less. And then from here, this is the inhale. On the exhale, turning towards the back of the chair. Left hand comes to the right thigh. Right hand can come behind you on the chair. Um, to the back of the seat or the side, anywhere that it feels comfortable for you. If having the hand on the chair jams the shoulder way up by your ears, find a more comfortable place. Every inhale we lengthen, but from the pelvis down, nothing shifting. Every exhale, we're twisting towards the back of the chair. So there is a inhale, a slight coming out here, exhaling, twisting. Your hands can come to wherever they feel helpful to you. If your hands are doing a lot of the forcing of the twist, then please hold the hands. Try and use the torso as that um, availability of muscle to help you twist. The gaze can come over that right shoulder if you want. Every inhale, we come out a little. Every exhale, we twist. Option to keep this going, or option wherever you are to stay for three breaths. Soften through the face, the jaw, relaxing through the shoulders, and maybe even hovering those arms. Keep the breath, that seamless breath, even if it means you come out a little bit. Staying for that exhale, 
and then releasing and coming all the way back through center. Regulating the breath if it changed. And then that right hand comes beside you on the chair down to the seat, or depending on the chair you're on, um, the back of the chair. Option to stay here. Option, opening up into a low lunge here. We're gonna shift that left sitting bone off the chair. Most important thing here is that you feel stable and steady. If this is not for you, that's okay. Coming back to the chair and just skipping forward. Otherwise, with that left seat off the chair, notice if that hip is dipping down or hiking up and seeing if you can level out the pelvis. This means that you're having to do a whole lot in your core to um, allow this to happen. Head over heart, shoulders over hips. That right foot is rooting down and we're drawing back the left foot. Top of the foot, toes can be um, tucked. You get to choose. The more forward that left knee is, the easier it is in the spine. Trying to keep those shoulders over the hips here, your option is to walk that left leg back a little bit further behind you. Not to the point where the torso comes forward because then we're just getting the pelvis involved. What we want is rooting down through the feet and rising from there. Same posture in the upper body. We're regulating the breath nice and steady. Drawing the belly in, tailbone roots down towards the earth itself and we're rising from the foundation of the feet. That right hand can be helping you, supporting you, and the breath is steady. From here, option is to cactus that left arm. Elbow anywhere between ribs and shoulder height, drawing the arm back in space. Now if you feel quite anchored in with the feet, option to take both hands here. This is a balanced posture and focus and regulate on the breath. If you want to add on, if you feel quite stable, we're inhaling, widening the hands, exhaling, palms turn towards you as your pinky fingers and elbows come towards each other. They don't have to meet. Inhaling wide, exhaling together. Keep the breath regulated and we've got three more. The further up those elbows are towards shoulder height, the more challenging this is through the top of the shoulders. Lost breath, circular breath, and then on that exhale, we'll lower that right hand and then gather the left hand behind the left thigh and draw the left foot forward. Centering yourself back on the chair. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then come back to that regular breath. Coming to the other side, you're going to take those feet through center. Take as much time as you need, and then we'll take the feet over towards the left this time I'm mirroring you. From here, making sure the feet are anchored down and you feel stable here. If you need extra support, please slide towards the back of your chair or back in your chair. And we come back to that mindful posture and regulate that seamless breath. Right hand comes to the left thigh, left hand comes to the back of the chair, the side of the chair, or the back of the seat of the chair, wherever it feels comfortable for you. It's gonna be different. We've got different bodies, we've got different chairs, different ranges of motion. Every inhale we lengthen, and then on one of your next exhales, we twist towards the back of the chair. Hands resting wherever they're comfortable without gripping. 
Every inhale, we come out a little. Every exhale, we twist. Keeping the pelvis anchored, so that right foot is rooting down, right hip rooting back. If your hands are gripping and doing most of the twisting for you, consider hovering the hands or keeping them nice and light. Softening that left shoulder, the gaze can come over the back of the chair or over the back of that shoulder. You can stay here in this gentle movement or stay and for three breaths, here we are. Letting the torso do the twist for us, keep the breath steady and smooth. Releasing the hands if they were gripping and coming all the way back through center. Any heart rate elevation or the breath deregulated, come back to that circular, smooth breath. Option to stay here. Option to come into that low lunge. So that left hand is coming on the back of the chair or next to your left hip. And we're sliding to the front of the chair so that right sitting bone is off the chair. This already right here is a balanced posture. If you don't feel steady and stable, please slide back onto your chair and skip ahead. Otherwise, option to drop the right knee down. Toes tucked or untucked, you get to choose. Making sure you feel stable with that left hand, wherever it happens to be. Keeping the hips below the shoulders and the head back over the heart. Option to stay here, not dropping that right hip or hiking it up, keeping it neutral. This again is quite Quite a lot is happening in the body just here. If you want to add on, drawing back that right foot or knee as much as you're able without tilting the torso forward. So we're right up on top of that left sitting bone, opening up through the right hip here. You might even be feeling it down through your quad. We have this balanced posture here and that left hand is there for your support. And now regulate the breath. Option to stay here. We'll do the same thing as the other side. Option to take that right hand up in a cactus. Elbow can be down or up towards shoulder height or anywhere in between. If you feel stable here, that left arm can stay as well. Option with that long torso rooting to rise. On the inhale, we take the elbows wide, front ribs rooted in, so we're not arching and rounding. This is the inhale. On the exhale, palms come towards you, elbows and pinky fingers. Circular breath, very little stillness here, making sure you are stable above all else. Let's take three more. Anchor down to both feet. More or less, one more to go. After that exhale, that left hand comes down, right hand sweeps the right foot forward, and we sit back onto the chair. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Regulate the breath as we come back through center. From here, we'll take the feet a little wider. External rotation, so important in our day to get the range of motion through the hips. We spend so much of our time sitting that our range of motion often gets less and less and less. So feet under the knees, rooting to rise. If you don't feel stable here, please sit back into the chair. Be honest with yourself and then anchor yourself into that seamless breath. Hands resting on the top of the legs and then through those lower ribs on the inhale, we're coming round and forward, exhaling round and back. Allow this fluid movement 
to match that circular breath. The pauses at the top and the bottom of the breath are part of those circles. You can get the shoulders, the head, the neck involved if you like, the pelvis. You can even notice what your feet are doing as you push from one side to another. But try and regulate the breath with the movement. So the movement isn't ahead or behind the breath. And then at the end of your next exhale, let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Noticing how that feels for you. Smoothing and steadying it out. Regulate the breath and blend it with the movement. Another two or three here, unless you're already resting. And then at the end of that next exhale, we'll come back up through center. Once you feel stable, let's take the feet in and just wash the knees a little side to side, relieving tension in those outer hips. Coming back to that mindful seated posture. Regulate the breath. Do a little check in here, noticing how you're feeling, how your body feels after a little bit of movement. Check in with the breath. And then when you feel ready, I'll meet you down on the earth. Gather with you anything you need for relaxation and I'll see you down there. Hello, hello, here we are. Down for the last part of class. Let's come down to our back making sure that you're supporting yourself. So if you need an, a firm folded blanket under the neck and head, pull it down towards your shoulders if that feels better for you. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And maybe picking up those hips, shifting them a little closer to your heels as you lay them down, just to lengthen through the spine. This is kind of like the equivalent of rooting to rise and then we'll draw one shoulder blade underneath us and then the other one just so we fall open through the heart space eyes soft lowered or closed feel the support underneath you whatever that surface may be or surfaces take a big breath in and on an exhale let the bones sink a little deeper into that support and then we start to come back to that seamless breath in and out. Keeping the left foot rooted down, let's roll that right knee in, give it a little hug here. And then we circle through the ankle, just like we did with the wrist earlier, smoothing out the movement. And there's very little usually that's smooth in this ankle rotation and maybe some snap, crackle and pops in there. Just notice and blend it with the length of that seamless breath. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Flare the toes, point the toes in different areas so we get into the joints of the feet as well. Mm -hmm. And then we'll flex that ankle, flare through the toes, and take the hands either next to your hips in a cactus or a T. You can even take them behind the head, opening up through the elbows. And then come back to that seamless breath. We're going to use that seamless breath with that right leg as we draw a circle with the heel. So we're going to inhale, keep the knee in line with the hip. We're going to inhale, lengthen the heel up. Exhale, draw the heel down and round as it's scraping past your seat. As if we're upside down on a one-legged bicycle. Blend this circular movement with the circular breath. Use that left heel and foot to anchor the foot to draw the belly button down into the earth so that lower back is really 
anchored in. Option to allow those circles to get a little longer. You can extend the leg if that lower back stays anchored on the earth and the breath is still steady. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to explore this movement and be honest with yourself if you're holding your breath in areas to get a little more, do a little less. When that knee comes up next time, you're going to take that round in the opposite direction. Almost as if you're cycling backwards, upside down, just with one leg. Inhaling and exhaling. Allow that to be as slow as the cycle of your breath. Seamless movement, so very little stillness. In fact, next to no stillness here at all. Keeping the torso as steady as possible. And let's do another few here. No momentum, keeping that cycle of breath, guiding the movement. Mm -hmm. Next time, you're going to bring that in, take that right ankle over the top of that left thigh, release the hands wherever they are, make sure you're comfortable here, and this is a great shape to be in, winging out that right knee, pushing the right ankle against the left thigh, and we get this dynamic tension coming here, opening up through the right hip and through the groin. Option to stay here or full thread the needle. Bring the belly button anchored down into the earth. We can hover that left leg, gather in the thigh towards the ribs, either either side of the thigh, underneath the knee, or in front of that shin. And if the arms are doing a tremendous amount of the work here, hand the work over to the legs. So the right ankle is pushing into the left thigh, left thigh drawing back, and that's where the power is. So your shoulders are soft, the throat, and the face and the jaw are relaxed. Keep that beautiful circular breath going. Nicely done. When you're ready, I'm going to release that left leg down if it was lifted and release the right leg there. Wash the knees a little side to side. And when you feel ready, anchor yourself back into that circular breath and gather that left knee in. Give it a little hug. And then with that connection of the breath, we start to circle through the ankle, flaring the toes, pointing the toes, noticing the whole thing here, not just the challenge and the awkward places, but also notice, huh, that bit feels really smooth to me. Well, that feels really good to move through that piece. Always adjusting the movement to your body. When you're ready, let's pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction, getting to know your ankle rotation, but also starting to build strength and stability as we use the slowness of this movement to build that up. When you're ready, let's keep a flex in that ankle, flare the toes, hands come wherever they're comfortable. And we're back to one-legged upside down bicycling. So circular breath. And then we're gonna start to draw circles in the air with that left heel. Keep that right foot anchored down and that will help you anchor in the lower back to the floor or surface underneath you so we stabilize the torso. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe you extend that leg a little longer in places. Please know that there's no wrong way to do this. This is a torso stabilization exercise so we're using the core here but also lengthening and controlling that circle. When you're ready or when you feel like it will pause and then take those circles around in the opposite direction. Once again, you want as much stability here in the breath, in the body, in the movement. 
blend the breath with the movement so it's really leading the movement. Noticing if you're rocking from one side of the pelvis to the other and use that right foot to anchor you in. Next time that leg comes up, we're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh. And here we are in a figure four, releasing the hands if you wish to. Great place to stay here, pushing that left knee and ankle away. Option to stay, option to draw the belly down, hover that right foot and gather that right thigh in towards you. If the arms are really lit up here, the arms and the shoulders, then please release that a little and transfer the energy over to the legs. So that right thigh is drawing in towards the chest, the left knee and ankle pushing away. So the arms, the shoulders, the neck, the throat, the jaw, the face are not doing the work here. Keep the breath even in that circular breath. And then when you're ready, in your own time, let's take that right foot down and release the left leg. Walking those feet a little bit like mat distance apart, taking the arms where you feel is anchoring the shoulders. And then let's wash the knees gently side to side, just massaging the back of that pelvis. Great place to stay there with the pelvis rooted to the earth. Option is to roll to one side as the opposite hip lifts and roll to the other side. Please notice what feels really good in your body here. Mm -hmm. Maybe those knees stay to one side. You can extend the opposite arm or the arm that is away from the knees up and overhead even taking hold of that wrist if you want to as we get that length down one side over the front of the hip down to that knee that top knee that we're pushing away if you have a bind here release the hands take it over to the other side in your own time maybe the side feels very different so please honor that Whichever direction the knees are facing, the opposite arm can reach up and overhead, maybe even using the opposite hand to gather that length through the side of the body, across the front of the hip, down through the quad, and breathe into that length, circular breath. If you're holding the breath, you're doing way too much effort. And then when you're ready, release any bind. And then take those knees, maybe a little gentle rock and roll side to side once again. And coming back through center. Option to stay here or come back into constructive rest here. Knees in, ankles away. Great place to stay if you've got any lower back issues. If you'd like to, you can gather those knees in towards you. Give yourself a little rock and roll side to side. Stay connected to that circular breath, seamless breath. And if there's any other movement you want to finish up your practice here, happy baby, you want to extend the arms and legs towards the ceiling or anything else, please go ahead. And for those of you who have finished your practice or if it feels complete, will come into relaxation. And once again, those knees can be lifted in towards each other like a tent, ankles a little further apart. You can spread it out like a starfish. Any support you have under the back of the thighs or knees is going to lessen any strain on your lower back. If you wanna be on your side, on your belly, you can do anything you want here as you get settled into your relaxation. Please take the time to offer yourself as much comfort as you can. Relaxation is not supposed to be a certain shape. The more comfort we have in the body, the less distraction we have in our mind. And now we have the opportunity to really let go. 
So any lost little movements, maybe adjusting an extra layer on you, an eye pillow, anything that you need here. And it's the bliss is in the details here. So taking the time, you might be lying there thinking, ah, my neck's a little uncomfortable here. I'd love a pillow, but I'm not gonna bother because I'm not gonna be here for long. Please take the time. When we offer this comfort in our body, it's really able to let go. And this relaxation at the end of our yoga practice is one of the most important parts of our practice. It means that we integrate everything that happened in our practice into our bodies on a cellular level. So when you're ready, whatever shape you've taken, take a big breath in. On the inhale, consider balling your fists, scrunching your toes, pushing your body down into the support you're in, squeezing your face, and then on an exhale, relaxing completely and letting go of that tension. We'll do that one or more times, or if you feel like you just want to relax here, please do. So on an inhale, start to gather tension into your body, screw your hands up, your face, your joints, bringing everything in, tensing your belly, your chest, everything, your hips, drawing them in towards each other, on an inhale, exhale, let it go. And if you want one more time, go ahead. The reason we do this is because we know that we relax so much more if we tense before relaxation. And that last exhale, imagine your body like an ice cube in the hottest of sun starting to melt down bit by bit into the surface underneath you truly allowing yourself to soften and unwind. Feeling your body bit by bit, letting go. And then we release the mind as well. Stepping back from being in the thoughts until we observe the thoughts. Notice the relentless fluctuation of the mind. It's always there, telling a story, giving us its opinion, guiding us to do one thing or another. And it's brilliant. And also in this moment, we can let it go just for a little while. Noticing without judgment, but with a curiosity, huh, my mind is thinking about this. And then 10 seconds later, huh, my mind is thinking about that. But not letting this seep into the relaxation you're offering your body your spirit. Every exhale, allowing that soft breath that is no longer controlled to melt just a little more of you down into the earth.
muscle, notice just how much you have given yourself permission to relax. No judgment, just curiosity. If there's any little pockets of tightness or tension that you can release over the next few breaths, I invite you to go ahead. Notice how good it feels to simply release and relax. Maybe for some of us, how unfamiliar. Maybe for some areas in our body, it's really hard. No judgment, we just notice. Notice how you're doing in this moment. Notice your mind. Emotions that are present. Notice how your body feels. Just being curious, not needing to fix or change or figure out. And then just simply start to notice that circular breath without any effort. No need to change your breath. How one inhale slides into the exhale and the exhale glides into the next inhale. Imagine from your feet on an inhale, you're drawing the breath up from your toes all the way up through the front of your body to the crown of your head, filling up. And on that exhale, from the crown of your head down the back of your body, releasing and relaxing all the way like a wave down to your toes or heels. You can imagine it, sense or feel it. Starting to take a little deeper breath in, so we fill up just a little more on that exhale, allow the exhale to be soft like a sigh. If you wish to finish your practice in the shape you're in, please stay. If you wish to slowly make your way up to a different shape to finish up today, please go ahead keeping yourself connected to that breath, to this bigger awareness. And we'll settle into however we've chosen to finish up today, feeling that support underneath us and lifting from there. Any gesture you wish in your hands, please go ahead and if that doesn't resonate with you, no need. When you're ready, take a breath in. And on the exhale, we drop the chin towards the heart, softening the gaze or closing the eyes. Thank yourself sincerely for your practice, for honoring yourself as much or as little as you needed to do was perfect for you. I thank you for being here. From my heart to yours, namaste.